Hi, I'm Terry Italy from Smokey. Uh, you're watching Onella. Come backstage. Hi, Terry. Thank you very much for your time. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little deaf in my right ear today. I, I think I partied too much last night. Oh. With a night off. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, just in the hotel, the, the uh, Estrel, Estrel Hotel. We in Berlin? Yeah, we were just, uh, we had a night off, so we had a, the, the tour, touring team ah, had dinner okay. together. Nice. So, so yeah. hotels, parties are always the best. The, the ones <laughs> I can remember, yeah. <laughs> and um, let's get a little bit back in time. So how did you get into the music back then when you were younger? Um, well, when I was a kid, uh, I was raised in a house that, my, my father uh, played opera, mm -hmm. so my introduction to music basically was fantastic singers, you know, yeah. uh, opera, and, and, I, and I liked that, but I didn't come from a musical background. Um, and then suddenly these guys appeared on the TV screen called the Beatles. Oh, wow. And, yeah, <laughs> and then the Hollies and the, the Hollies thing, and I, and I really, re my dad bought me a, a guitar for, for a, a birthday when I was about eight years of age. Cool. And... Um, we had a guy called Bert Whedon, who was, uh, he was a guitar player in, in, in uh, England. And uh, he made a, a book called Play in a Day. Okay. Right? <laughs> so every week he, he syndicated this on, uh, with newspapers. Mm -hmm. uh, so he put three chords every week, okay. illustrated, so you could learn Let's three see. chords every week. Yeah. And then he put three different chords in the week after. Yeah, and, okay. and, and, and so that's how I learned to play. Then I, at school... Cool. I bumped in, uh, you know, I, I, I saw Chris Norman and, and Alan Silson singing Love Me Do by the Beatles outs <laughs> outside the school canteen. And yeah. uh, I, I thought they were fantastic, you know. <laughs> and we got friends. And then we had a school band. I left school. I went to be a l apprentice lithographic printer. Okay. And Chris and Alan kept knocking on my door saying, come on, we want to do this for real. Yeah. The third time uh, they knocked, uh, I said, yeah, come on then, let's do it. Thank God you did. Uh, and that's, that's <laughs> as simple as it is, you know, uh, that's how it went. And how did you get into playing bass then? Because you said you started with guitar? Um, because they play guitars already, okay. so they needed a bass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was pushed to the back of the queue. <laughs> so uh, they only have four strings then, so that was all right. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a different attitude to learning how to play a bass. You know, it's not just like a... You, and you, you, you don't realize that you have to play with your drummer because if, if the drummer's playing one thing and you're playing something else, it, that, it's it, a so mess. The, yeah, the rhythm section, it's a mess, yeah. The rhythm section lays, lays yeah. it down and that's... Uh, Many years have passed since then, but you're still on tour and uh, right now on a really big tour. Yeah, I mean, this year we've, we've done, uh, what we've done now, this is our, this is our fourth show after, the, after our summer break. So that would be... 40 show, uh, 60 shows we've done so far up to tonight <laughs> and, and we've got another 30 to do before the end of the year and we finish off with the Prague Symphony Orchestra uh, wow. for 10, 10 shows so that's that's gonna be really cool but um, how does it feel to still be on the road after all these years uh, it feels natural um, it's I mean we've just had six weeks free which we, we usually just take a four week break in the summer Really? but it just happened at there was nothing to do until we got to here, to Germany, uh, Deutschland. <laughs> and, uh, but we, we um, it, it happened to be six weeks and I, know, I, I got into the holiday mode and <laughs> then, then you, you try to, you know, psych yourself up to come into work, whereas yeah. you look forward to work normally. And I had to psych myself up this time because of six weeks. I'd, yeah, I've never yeah. done six weeks free. <laughs> So Have you been on vacation? Oh, it was great. After the first night, that's it. You know, I, just, I phoned my <laughs> wife up and said, all's cool now. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <We've done> <laughs> <laughs> and um, what would you say is the biggest difference in touring from back then when you first started and now? Um, I find it easier mm -hmm. um, because we do everything more or less by aeroplane uh, oh, nice. over weekends. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we, we get our week during the week free. We do, we do all the, the weekend in the summer it's all festivals so yeah. then we fly home and it's like about 140 flights a year we do oh wow and um quite a lot. yeah until you I, I find it easier you just get into that used yeah. to doing it all you know 
um, and where it used to be, goodness knows how many trucks and buses <laughs> and yeah. you know, 50 road crew and stuff like that. We, t we take three road crew with us everywhere oh, wow. and they take charge of Everything. the people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a heck of a, we don't bus ourselves around now if you know, you know, if it's, uh, it's, it's simplistic how we, we, we've really gone uh, basic. Nice. It's great. It is nice, yeah. <laughs> it is. You have a lot of miles, for sure. A lot of miles. <laughs> I'm nice. With KLM, I've just shot one million miles now with, no with my way. miles. Yeah, really? yeah. And I don't have a chance to use them. We're always earning them. Oh, well. So I don't have a chance to use them. But I want to do like like uh, that George Clooney movie, you know, where he was yeah, in competition yeah, yeah. to get him to get a million miles. So. <laughs> I love the movie. And what are your future plans with Smokey? <laughs> More of what we do. More <laughs> <laughs> touring still. Oh yeah, I think I think for next year we 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 have uh, we've got Australia, South Africa. Oh, nice. Um, lots of places. You know, we 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 tend to go to Australia and South Africa every three years. Oh really? Um, and uh, always love that. Uh, Israel. We we do wow. we do so many places. Yeah. You know, and they, and we just love it. You know, and people can get really bit. Uh, why are you going to Israel? Uh, because we've got smoky fans there. That's why we're <laughs> going. We're not politicians. We we're, yeah. we're entertainers. That's not a question. So, so yeah, and and uh, we so have. People a, really ask that. Yeah, yes, I do. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. The, so I'll oh, stop buying smoky records now. I won't come because you're going to Israel. That's a political <laughs> view. Yeah, we're we're ours is entertaining. Yeah. That's it. So ma, people ma, just don't yeah. get it. Dire Straits went there. Everybody goes there. Yeah. But then suddenly they say that we're going there and we advertise it. Scandalous. <laughs> yeah, scandalous. <laughs> so um, are you maybe also working on new material for a record or something? Uh, well, we got halfway through an album. Oh, cool. But then we didn't have time to go back in the studio to finish it. <laughs> too much touring. Big, too much touring, that's it. We that's just could crazy. not find the space. <laughs> um, so what happened in that time was that we, uh, we did a record deal with a... Well, not so much of a record deal, it was like a streaming deal now. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the company that we used to be with, CMC, they w came away from the actual physical side of mm -hmm. things and uh, went into Spotify and s okay. all, all these different platforms. And so that's what we do. So we use those six tracks that we've done. Okay. So there's some new things out there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Always so. up to date. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in the end, what, what happened to Sally and Alice? Well, Alice? <laughs> yeah. Who um, are the girls? <laughs> yeah, well, we did another song. Sally called, disappeared. Well, well, no, I know, but they, they <laughs> you know, everybody asks about who the, is Alice, <laughs> but nobody asks about Sally. I do. And, and the first, the first, first <laughs> word is Sally called, and nobody yeah, asks true. about poor Sally. So poor girl. we did a song called Sally doesn't live here anymore because the guy then when when Alice disappeared, yeah, the guy hit on Sally. Oh well. And then she disappeared. <laughs> then she disappeared. So he has no look in love, does this boy? Damn. And I think they're both on, in the Bahamas somewhere having a lesbian love affair. Mm, so well, should be fine yeah. if he didn't want you, so <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you should convince a young person to listen to rock music, which song would you show him or her and why? Uh, if, if you're talking real rock music, I, I love uh, melodic rock. I love... Really? Uh, oh, I love melodic. It's, my favorite band is, uh, uh, it's the only band I ever go to see when in England, if I'm in England, mm -hmm. uh, Sticks. Ah, okay. My favorite band ever, the most innovative, uh, all the storylines that they do. Yeah. They're just absolutely amazing. One of their songs, um, Blue Collar Man, that's a proper rock song. I, I so we've come to uh, our last question of um, that interview, and it would be if you could have a fantasy dinner with three persons of your choice, it doesn't matter if alive or dead or whatever, who would you invite? To do what? To go where? To, to have a dinner somewhere. Three persons and you. Who would you invite? John Lennon. Mm -hmm. um, Paul McCartney and George Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> well. Ask some questions about why the hell did you split up? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't invite Yoko. No, no. No, 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 no we no. shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, no. Again, thank you very, very much for your time, Terry. And the last words are yours. Uh, well, th I'd like to thank everybody from Deutschland to, for supporting us all these years. You know, through, through the thick and the thin. You know, through line-up changes through everything. Uh, so, you know, I, I, from my heart, I thank you.